What is up, guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. Okay, so more industry news. More industry news. Okay, what is going on with Embracer Group? What in the living shish kebabs is going on with Embracer Group? Because it, it, Embracer Group is buying up everything. What kind of company are they exactly? I know they're, in, they're supposed to be an entertainment company, but I'm here at NicheGamer.com. It says Embracer Group acquires limited run games, Middle Earth Enterprises, and more. I'm going to get to the Middle Earth part in a moment, but let's, let's, let's take a look at some of the companies that they, that they bought, okay? So, so their announced, their announced purchases were large and varied, so let's take a look at what they have gained control of. So, limited run games, uh, makers of the limited physical runs, digital, digital only of classic games. Sintra is the company behind the tech Guitar Heroes and Rock Band series, okay. Tuxedo Labs, the studio behind the highly successful Teardown. Um, then is Tripwire Interactive, the developers and publishers of Killing Floor and Rising Star, Rising Storm. Uh, Tatsujin Embraces first Japanese studio who had worked on classic uh, Toad Plan games such as Truxton, Snow Bros, and Flying Shark. Bitwave Games, a Swedish studio that specializes in retro games. Gaio Tech, a European gaming accessories brand with over two decades of history, and an undisclosed study purchase that is said to be third and fourth largest of the global purchase. Right, but their biggest purchase thus far is Lord of the Rings. Embracer Group acquires IP rights Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. This is coming from Deadline. Now, some of you don't even know who Embracer Group is. Who the heck is Embracer Group? I mean, seriously, who? I've never heard of these people until I, I never heard of them until like Square Enix sold their, you know, sold, sold their, their Western IPs to. Okay, so recently, a couple of months ago, Square Enix sold, you know, their Tomb Raider, Deuce X, and a lot of their Western IPs for $300 million, which I think it was very cheap. I mean, that, that, was, that, that was too little. That was too little money, you know, for all these IPs. And it says here, Japanese gaming giant. Square Enix is largely getting out of Western game development, selling their, selling three big studios and several top franchises to Embracer Group. Okay, but who are they? Who is Embracer Group? And it looks like they're just a big media company. It says Embracer Group is the parent company of businesses developing and publishing PC, console, and mobile games for the global markets. An ecosystem of entrepreneurial companies in the gaming and on entertainment industry. Right, so it looks like, so they're kind of, <coughs> I don't want to say, maybe they're kind of like a Microsoft, where like they just like own a lot of companies, or like an Amazon or Google, they just own things. It's like, and it's just under their name, right? They just own things, right? They, they're just the owners of everything, right? And um, score in a solar IP to them, and now they just, but Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings has to be, this is a big deal, because... I don't know if this is good or bad, but it looks like most likely they is off the hands. It is off the hands of Amazon, I'm thinking, right? But let's let's read what it says. So, Swedish video game company Embracer Group has acquired Mo Middle Earth Enterprises, a division of Soul Sense Company which owns the intellectual property catalog and worldwide rights. Worldwide rights to Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. So they own the Lord of the Rings movies and The Hobbit. Everything from the video games, the theme parks, everything. They said the financial terms of the acquisition were not disclosed, not yet at least, but the deal means Embracer Group will pick up the motion picture, the video game, the board game, merchandise, theme parks, stage production, rights to relating Lord of the Rings and, and the Hobbit franchises, as well as matching rights in, in other Middle Earth related liter literary works authorized by Tolkien Estate and Harper, Harper Collins, which have yet to be explored. Wow. Why are they buying all these IPs? What is to be gained? And before before I end the video, before I end the video, guys, listen up here. Cl listen closely. Because Disney did this, Microsoft did this, Amazon did this. 
right? Sony did this. And look, I'm thinking the only reason why Embracer Group, why Embracer Group is buying all of these intellectual properties, all of these gaming studios, I think the reason why they're doing this is, is so that they can create their own cloud gaming or cloud entertainment system. Whether if it's a, a Netflix, their own version of Netflix, or their own cloud gaming service like PlayStation Plus or Xbox Game Pass, I think that's kind of that's kind of like their game plan. Because take a look at this. Take a look at this. Like, look at all the acquisitions over the years. Why in the world? Let's say why did Disney bought Marvel? Why did Disney buy all those Fox IPs? Right? They bought all those intellectual properties so that then, not just so that they can make money off of them, but also, but also so that they can add it to their streaming service and have content because content is king, right? What is, you know, why did Microsoft buy Activision Blizzard and Bethesda? They bought it for the Xbox Game Pass. Content is king. You know, why is Sony buying up, buying up, uh, you know, a bunch of gaming studios? They need all those, all those gaming studios to create content for their streaming platform. That's what they do. That's what, you know, they, they need it for their streaming platform. So I think this is part of their game plan. They're going to have some, in the future, Embracer Group, they're going to have some kind of service, some cloud service where you just log in and you just consume whatever it is that they have. I mean, what? Seriously, what? Why else would they want all these intellectual properties? All these video game companies, right? All these gaming companies. I mean, we're gonna have to wait a couple of years to see what the heck they do. But I'm gonna keep an eye on this, right? I'm gonna keep an eye on this, which is why I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to subscribe to Andy Matrix TV. Make sure to make sure to hit the notification bell for future notifications. I'm gonna keep an eye on Embracer Group. And guys, uh, make sure to comment below. Tell me what you think about this acquisition. Tell me what you think about Embracer Group and like this video. Everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. This is your boy, Andy Matrix. Godspeed.